Jack Flaherty, again, we talked about it. Really good start against the White Sox last time out. There's a line drive, base hit in the right field by Toro. And right away, the hits continue for the Oakland A's as Abraham Toro reaches base. Here's a 2-2. Swung on top to third base. It is a fair ball just inside the bag. Past Urshela heading toward the left field corner. Toros to third. It's going to be waved in, and he's going to score as the ball goes all the way into the corner and up to third base and standing there with a triple is Zach Geloff. one nothing Athletics as they strike early again on the Tigers, and Geloff gets the job done with a smash into the left field corner. His first RBI of the season, Urshela was not on the line, went hard to his backhand as it rattled around into the left field corner and actually got by Green as he was hoping for a different carom, and that allowed the extra 90 feet for Toro to score and for Geloff to get to third base. J.J. Bladé swings at the second pitch he sees and loved the hit parade today for Oakland. 2-0. They strike early and often on Flaherty at Comerica. J.J. Bladé is fifth RBI of the season. When you look for the slider and you get the heater down there, you take it. And hoping he, t- he does that right here for an out. Yep, that'll do. Fastball perfect down and away, and Rooker knew it. Just about the minute the ball left the hand. Swinging a soft little pop-up on foul territory first base side, and Jack Flaherty comes racing over to make the catch by the dirt track by the Tigers' dugout. 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike nice. three. Way to get out of it. First three reach, two score, 2-0. Two Tigers try to respond next. Six-foot-inch right-hander Joe Boyle out of Notre Dame goes to work for the A's, his second start of the year. He worked on Monday and struggled against the uh, Red Sox. That's four straight to a walk. Parker Meadows, a leadoff face on balls against Joe Boyle. He understands. Just do not want to let this start to snowball. That is a base hit. Riley Green on a 3-1 fastball, and the Tigers have two on with nobody out. On the full count, in the air. Towards Bladé. Meadows will tag up and head over towards third. Throw cut off and keeps the runners at first and third. Well, Torkelson, the first out. It was productive, though, as he got Meadows 90 feet closer. Terry Carpenter, the batter, broken bat, ball in the air, foul territory, Toro over, and what a break for Joe Boyle and crew. Quite literally. Pitch on the ground, and Geloff will make the final out. So after allowing a couple runners, Joe Boyle settles in quite nicely. 2-2 to Noda. On the ground towards second base, and it's going to get past a diving Colt Keith. Trying to slide for it, and instead a single for Noda. There's a leadoff base hit, and Noda's aboard now in nine straight games. Two gone, Noda on second. I got him. That did get him. He'll take his base happily. Keeps the inning alive for Geloff. 0 oh, 2, it's whacked to deep left field. Back is green, and out it goes. A Zach attack for Zach Geloff. It's number one on the year. It comes with two men on. And just like that, it is 5 0 Oakland. Five runs for the Oakland A's here in the second inning is the most runs they've scored in a campaign so far this year. He got him, strike three. J.J. Bladé frozen. He doesn't agree. Thought he had a walk, but Oakland picks up three more thanks to Gellog. Tigers got their first two out in the first inning. Couldn't make him pay, though, for his wildness. As this one hits, plunking King Mark Canna to lead off the second. Shellen 0 for 4 yesterday after two doubles in game one. As he delivers a sweeper. And a swung on and missed by Urshela gave him a different look. He got his first strikeout of the day. The 3-2, a swing and a miss. Got him on the breaking ball. And down on strikes goes McKinstry. So back-to-back K's here for Boyle. And it was one for six in the series. It's Boyle to the plate, the 1-2. Fastball got him swinging, elevated there. And Boyle has his third strikeout. He's retired four straight and seven of eight. One on, one out. Right-hander delivers in the pitch. That's a ground ball on the left side. Might be two. Scooping it up. Toro. The second for one. On to first. And they get the double play. Nicely done. A 5-4-3 inning ending. Double play. No runs. A walk. Nobody left. We're through three complete. On a Noda. Followed by Langoliers and Allen. It will be 7-8-9. And got a walk. So Noda being patient in his plate appearance. Puts him on with no outs. The 0-1 pitch is swung on. That's hit into center field for a base hit. Rounding second base and digging for three is Noda. The throw to third base on one hop. And he is... Safe. He just did get in to third base before the tag was applied. Fantastic effort from Ryan Noda. Whoop. How about the left hand? Little okey doke, but it's the right hand. 
that hits that back a third base bag. Fantastic. Toro singled and scored in the first, hit with a pitch and scored in the second. On the ground, backhanded, Urshela gets it, gets rid of it, but not in time. Run scores, first and second, one out. Infield single for Toro, he's been on base three times. As Nota comes in to score, Allen to second, and the A's have a six-run lead. Up the middle, and it's going to stay near the infield. Keith will have a play at home, and they have Nick Allen caught in a rundown. He is out, so maybe this is Good play. the momentum. Allen was rounding third, thinking that ball was getting through. Heads up play by Colt Keith and a strong throw home. Joe Boyle will face Kerry Carpenter. It's out towards right field, and right away the ball will find you. A diving Lawrence <laughs> Butler makes the catch. <laughs> Get it, Law Dog. Let's go. The game will find you. And Law Dog says, I don't mind being found. Joe B, big fan. Canna hit with a pitch in the second inning. And the pitch that missed. It was strike three call. Excuse me. A delayed call with a hand signal from Chad Fairchild. But Canna strikes out. And that is the fourth strikeout for Boyle on the day. There's a line drive. Leaping grab by Geloff. The second baseman in the inning is over. Outstanding play by Geloff. Joe Boyle still on the hill. Check swing. Did he go? Did. So a strikeout here for Joe Boyle, just bearing down when he needs it most. Swing and a miss. And Boyle was on the deal and in. He's dealing out the business. Five innings, no runs, six punch outs, 87 pitches. Pretty good afternoon for Joe Boyle. We've seen some really good sliders and curveballs today. Especially the curveball. 1-1, one, one, swinging a ground ball to second base, and Jack Flaherty is going to Give his team some innings today, and that's important after the way it started. And after giving up five early, Flaherty works six. No, Gellup with an RBI triple down the third base line, and then he homered and a pitch around the letters. So four RBIs, which is a career high for Zach. There's a line drive, base hit in the right field. That's his third hit. So first three-hit game of the season for Gellup. He singles to lead off the seventh inning. I got to keep to Maeda early, and today, how about another hit for Seth Brown in the series? He's rounding second, first to third for Blade, and now runners on the corners for J.D. Davis. The one-two, swinging a soft ground ball to third, charging Urshela. He'll make a basket catch on the knee-high bounce. Davis bounces out, and the A's are done in the top of the seventh. Makes it two balls and two strikes. Ooh. To first base. Oh, what a play. Nice spear <laughs> by Torque. Charge that ball, and he did. That ball was scorched, was heading into right field. Torkelson takes a hit away. With the lefty and Riley Green. Riley Green swings, and it's a fly ball. Right center field, deep. Butler back to the fence, looking up, and it's gone a home run. Riley Green gets it up and out. And the Tigers are on the board for the first time today. It's a home run and one on the board for the Tigers here in the bottom of the eighth. Ball smoked to left field and over the head of Brown out there. That thing caught a thermal and Veerling has a two out double. Matt Veerling is swinging the bat pretty good this year. He's been a great role player. No, Matt Veerling smokes this baseball. Sets holds it at the belt, checks Veerling, 1-2, soft ground ball, deep first. Backhanded by Noda, he flips to the pitcher, Urseg covering. Keith grounds out, Tigers settle for one on the green home run. Patience at the plate into an aggressive approach today, and that is going to hit the outfield. Is he going to go for it? You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, got to love it. Another knock will be great. He'll be just fine with a four-hit, four-RBI day. Butler with a base hit to left field down the line. Hustling for it as a bind. He stops it from getting deep into the corner. Into second, though, gliding with a double is Butler over to third base is Geloff. So the A's looking to make sure they can nail this down with some insurance runs. And that's another hit. Bring him on down. Yes. Seth Brown keeps it rolling as Geloff comes home, and it is seven to one, Oakland. Two days in a row, the Oakland A's pitching staff has just shut down this Tigers offense. Two two, reach for a tap to third base in between hop, picked up by Davis. Spins throws the first. Actually, that's Hernandez. That's Daryl Hernandez at third base, making a nice play to his left. And that retires Canna for the out. Left side. Smothered by Allen. He's up to throw and safe. One out for Zach McKinstry. Swinging a line drive. Base hit. One up off the dirt into left field. All right. Couple more. Couple of men on for the first time since the first inning. That's on the ground. A possibility. Nick Allen over to Geloff. And he gets the out at second. Not in time to get it over to first. This was a team that didn't have a series win last year through any of their first ten series. 
third series of the season, looking to get it done. On the ground, Hernays with the pickup. Over to Noda, and mission complete. The Oakland A's have won back-to-back -back games and take the series here in Detroit. Seven to one, the final, and that feels good. It sure does.